Do the roar. Oh, the catwalk was straight up like that. <laughs> Alright guys, today we're going to be making a froth basket out of a shopping cart. Now this shopping cart was obtained legally or something, it kind of just showed up in my friend's front yard and he had to get rid of it. But you can always buy fencing like this, because we're really just going to be using the basket of the cart. We're going to start out by chopping out about a 20 inch circle, and this will be the bottom of our basket. Then we measured up about three or four inches from the edge of the shopping cart and chopped a couple strips out of that for the walls of our basket. And we bent them using this really high-tech anvil. Now during this project, we do use a welder quite a bit, but I also know a lot of you guys don't have a welder, so I'll let you know what you can do if you don't. In this next step, you can hammer the ends of your walls flat then drill a hole through it and toss a nut and bolt through there and that should secure just fine. Then to attach your walls to the bottom of your basket, you just make hooks on the bottom of the walls which will latch onto the basket. Then you can wire that down shut. Then we cut out the top of our froth basket and you'll notice this looks a lot smaller than it should be and that's because it is but we'll solve that problem a little bit later in the video. Then we cut out 8 strips of 24 inch long chain and we really needed about 12 so just plan for that. Now to solve our small top problem we made some long hooks which will attach the ends of the chains onto however these still weren't long enough and we ended up having to weld some longer pieces of metal onto our top. If you don't have a welder, it'd probably be smart just to cut your top to the right size and then attach the wires straight to that. With all the extensions secured on our top, we went ahead and zapped our hooks on top of those and then came the matter of attaching our top to the pole and we attached it with some L-shaped brackets which were out of the wire. But if you don't have a welder, you can always drill a hole through the top of your pole and then weave wire in and out of your top through the hole, cinch it down good, and you're pretty much finished. And with our top secured to our pole, we flipped it upside down and put our basket on there, which is about 20 inches from the top. And if you don't have a welder, you can drill a hole through it, toss a nice long nut through there, and that's going to keep your basket nice and supported. We ended up welding in some supports just to make sure the basket wasn't going anywhere. Then we made a ring out of some more wire, fed the chain through that, and that was pretty much it. And this last step is completely optional. We just zap the ring shut so no chains are going to fall out of it. And I know you can't see it too well, but we also found out that soda mixes pretty well with cement. <laughs> 